So NearCam is quite a straightforward digital camera, uh, which uses infrared light, uh, and we use it to image the back of baby's eyes. There's a, quite a rare condition called congenital cataract, which about one in 3,000 babies are born with. And for those babies, they have like an obstruction to their vision. And we know it's so time critical for them to have good vision within the first three months of life that we have to operate if there's a cataract there within about six weeks, six or seven weeks of birth. So NearCam is a camera which is designed to make the usual screening that we do easier. At the moment, midwives and junior doctors, trainees uh, and paediatricians do the screening. But we know that a good proportion of, of babies who have congenital cataracts are missed. And on the flip side, a good proportion are told that they might have cataracts and go through all that anxiety only to find out, in fact, the examination was, it was actually a, a full, what we call a false positive and in fact their eyes are fine. So, so we've done, designed NearCam to really make the screening examination easier for non-specialists to try to improve the detection of cataract in babies and to try and prevent all the false positive tests that happen as well. We have a massive study about to start where it's probably going to start recruiting towards the end of the summer. Uh, because it's quite a rare condition, one in 3,000 babies are born with cataract, we need 140,000 babies uh, to screen. And of course, we can't do that just at the rosy here. We have to use a whole lot of maternity units, so about 24 different maternity units throughout England. Um, and we're going to be screening, hopefully, many of the babies that are born over the next 18 months or so. So we're, what we're going to do is the babies who agree to take part in the trial, well I should say the parents who agree for their babies to take part in the trial, will be doing the normal screening way, which is with a ophthalmoscope, a torch, um, and the near cam way, which is with our digital camera, and we'll be looking at which gives the better accuracy in picking up the cataract detection. And once we have the results at the end of two years or so, we should be able to work out which is the better, whether we should move over to screening with a digital camera or whether we should stick with the standard screening that we do. There's a, um, a screening programme called the ne Newborn and Infant Physical Examination, which is done on every single baby born in the UK. Um, and this involves the eye examination, so that's the standardised screening examination, and it happens before the baby's discharged home. So what we're asking parents, uh, when who are happy for their babies to participate in the trial, is as in addition to the screening test that we take a little picture using NearCam of the baby's eyes as well as part of the visit. There are no other visits required at all, no other trips to the hospital. In addition to the standard screening test using a torch, your baby will have a digital photo taken of each eye using NearCam. This is quick and completely painless as shown here. Well, so for the babies, they have an additional chance of having um, a cataract picked up if there is one there. And yes, that's a rare thing, but it could might, make, make the difference uh, to your baby's eyesight. So that, that's one possible benefit of taking part in the study. The other is the benefit worldwide later on. If we show that it's a success, you could have a part in actually improving the way we screen worldwide. Well, we can sign up either prenatally, antenatally, I should say, um, and that's from the 19th week of pregnancy. You'll be finding in various maternity units, you'll be finding big posters on the wall with QR codes, and you can go along and scan it on your mobile phone. And basically, it's a public-facing um, recruitment, so you can sign, do an e-consent form, you can look at all of the information online, um, and then you will get asked for your permission again once you have your baby by the midwife who will be doing the screening, just to check that you still agree for that to happen.